stretch. So our feet are apart. Roll the shoulders back. Alternate the shoulders. And let's bring the shoulders up toward our ears. Take us a breath in. Exhale, let it drop. Breathe in, shoulders up. And exhale. One more, breathe in, up. And let it drop. Bring the arms around. Open up the chest. Stretch. Stretch the pecs, fill the lungs. And bring the hands on around to the low back, arch gently back, stretch. And release, bring the arms around to the front, to the thighs and bend the knees, stretch and forward. And exhale, back up. And again, forward, bring in the right shoulder. And exhale, back up. Bring it down again, come in with the left shoulder, stretch. And back up. All right, feet are a little bit further apart. Let's do our pelvic tilts. Tilt the pelvis forward, tighten, bring the shoulders back and down. And breathe. And relax. Again, tilt the pelvis forward, shoulders back and down. And release. Again, tilt, tighten, shoulders back, shoulder blades back and down. And release. Bring the hands to heart center, spin the knees down. Knees are not going over the toes, we're turning to the right. Belly button to the spine, exhale, come back up and bend the knees, turn to the left, gentle turn, and exhale, come back up. All right, let's get our hands on the chair. Loosen up the hips a little bit and stretch. Rocking back and forth in the tabletop. Let's bring our right leg back, stretching that right calf muscle. Bring that right leg forward, stretch the left foot back, stretching the left calf muscle. Bring that foot back up. Right foot's coming up on the chair. Rocking back and forth, getting the hips loosened up. Leaning forward, bringing the right arm forward. And bring that arm down. Lunge forward, bring the left arm forward. And let's put that foot down, bring up the left, rock back and forth a little bit, reaching forward with the left arm, and bring that arm down, reaching forward with the right arm, and release. Put that foot down, 
And let's put the feet up under. We'll start our sun salutations and standing up. Can you hear the music okay, Laura? Yes. And me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a breath up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the chair. The right foot comes back. Bring the left foot back, stretch, bend those knees, stretching the upper body. And forward into either tabletop or plank. Bring the head up if you can. And exhale, bring it back. Right foot's coming back forward so we can stretch the left calf muscle. Root down into the right heel as you bring that left foot forward down through both heels up into powerful pose. Then all the way up. Carefully go up on the toes and bring it back down again. Bring the hands back to heart center or up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the chair. The left foot's gonna go back first this time. And back with the right foot, bend those knees. Forward into plank. And back. Left foot comes forward. Root down through your left heel, down through both heels, up into powerful pose. And again, up, stretching up, stretching, elongating that spine. If you can, go up on the toes. And bring it back down, great. Let's do one more cycle, breathe in, up. Exhale, hands come down to the chair seat. Right legs back, left legs back, bend those knees, forward into plank, and back out. Right foot's forward, heads up, chest is up. Press through the right heel, down through both heels, up into powerful pose. Then reach up, palms facing up. Stretch to the right. Center. Left. Center and back down to heart center. One last time up. Exhale, hands down, left foot comes back. Right foot comes back, bend those knees forward into plank and back again. Left foot comes forward. Press through the left heel. Root down through both heels up into powerful pose. All the way up. Palms together. Stretch to the right. Center. Left. Center and back down to heart center. Wonderful. So we got the blood circulating. I'm facing back <coughs> one again. Good deal. Take a breath up. Exhale, bring those hands around down in a circle. Take a breath in as you come back up. Exhale, back down. Breathe in, up, change directions, exhale, back down, and breathe in, up, back down to heart center. Open the arms, exhale, breathe in, bring them back down, bring the hands together, elbows together if they'll go with little lifts. And open, breathe in, and bring the hands down. Our feet are apart, so we're going to go down in a victory squat. 
a goddess here. And reach up, breathe in up. Exhale, bring it back down into victory squat. One more up. And back down into victory squat. And up again, reach around, open up the chest. And breathe. And release, release the arms. So our feet are already apart and that might be the right distance for you. Go into our warrior two, so our arms are out. Turn the foot to the right, bend that right knee. Looking at the fingers of the right hand. Right hand comes down to the right leg. Left arms over. Come up a little bit and see if we can stretch a little further. Back into warrior two. And left arm comes down, reverse warrior, looking up at the right hand. And back down to warrior two. Turn that right foot forward, left foot turns to the left, then that left knee. Left hand comes down to the left hand, to left leg, I should say. Right arms over. Come up a little into cactus arms and again over stretch. Back into warrior two. And reverse warrior, left arm goes up. And back down again. So the left foot's coming forward. Start working your feet back toward each other. And let's turn the chair around. It's so nice to be able to see somebody else doing this besides just me looking at myself. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All, right. All right, so our right foot is back. Right arm's going up. Gentle stretch over. Palms facing forward. And reach up with the left arm and stretch. And release. So we got our weight on our left foot. Let's go into tree pose. You need to hold on, you got the chair. Bring our focus inward. You can bring up that foot or not. By bringing the right foot back, maybe a little wider. Left knee is bent. One or both arms are up. Lift that back foot up off the floor if you can. Excellent. Bring it back down. Let's bring the left foot back. Left arm is up, slight bend to your right side. Left palm is facing forward. Use that right arm to help stretch that side. And release. Your weight's forward on the right foot, going into tree pose on this side. Find our focus. Bring that foot up if you can. And bring that foot back, maybe a little wider. 
Bend that right knee, arms are up. Lift that back foot up off the floor if you can. And bring it back down and relax the shoulders. Let's bring the left ear toward the left shoulder. Stretching the neck. You can use the left hand if you want to against the head to increase the stretch. And release. Right ear goes toward the right shoulder. And stretch. And release, bring both hands to the back of the head. Pressing back into the hands with your head. And then release that pressure, bring the chin down toward the chest, stretching the back of the neck and the upper shoulders. And release and relax the shoulders. Okay. Let's get behind our chair. Let's bring our right foot or whatever foot you want to bring forward, depending on how deep you want your lunge as well, and straighten out that right leg. Both legs are straight, both arms are straight. And bring it arms forward as you bend the right knee up into warrior one. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Again, breathe in up. Let the arms come down into cactus arms. Extend and open up the arms, open up the heart and the chest. Then the arms into cactus arms. Arms come up and bring it forward. Bring the weight forward onto your right foot so we can lift up that back left foot. Bring it back down. Bring the hands down to the back of the chair and let's bend both knees. Stretching the Achilles tendon on that back left side. And let's switch, bring the left foot forward. Up to you how deep that lunge is. Straighten both legs. Arms are straight. To bring the arms up now, take a breath in. Up into warrior one. Exhale, bring the arms down. Straightening that leg. Again, bring the arms up, bending the left knee. And bring the arms down into cactus arms. Open the heart, open the arms. Heads up. Bend the elbows again. Bring it up into warrior one and shift your weight forward onto that left foot, lifting up the right foot up off the floor. And slowly bringing that right foot back down to the floor and bringing the arms back down to the back of the chair and bend both knees. And bring both feet back into down dog, using the back of the chair or using the seat or your hands are on the floor or whatever you want to do for down dog. You can paddle the feet. Paddle the feet, then you can walk, wag the tail there. Wag the dog. <laughs> Make your way back up to the back of the chair and then over the back of the chair. 
So our feet are apart, the knees are bent. You can use the back of the chair for support if you need it, up to you. But reach out, head down with your right arm. And release that right arm back down and then stand out with the left arm. Bring that arm down, going back to the right arm, shifting your weight to the right. The right leg is bent and then the left leg is extended. Wonderful, bring that leg down. Shift everything to the left side. The left arm is extended and extend the right leg. and bring it back down and work your way back up and bring the shoulders back has that one gotten any easier yeah they might have always yeah. been easy for you it wasn't for me <laughs> no no i think balance and this twice a week helps that's good. Your balance is helping your balance. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. And I'm noticing with Zoom, there's a little bit of a delay. I've always heard that there's a little bit of a delay. So that's that's good to experience. Okay. Let's bring up our right foot. Up to you how far that leg comes back. But the left arm's back on that back left hip arching back and bring the body forward bringing the hands down to the seat of the chair And let's extend out the right leg, right heel is pressed out. And bring that foot down and go around to the other side so we can bring up the left. Right hands on the back, right hip, stretching the psoas muscle Lunging forward a little bit on that left knee. Coming forward, bringing the hands to the back to the seat of the chair. And then let's extend the left leg, left heels pressed out. And bring that foot down. Okay. If we need some water, get us some water. You've got another mat you want to put down on the floor? Got it down. <laughs> All right. I need to go grab my water. I forgot to bring it over. Okay. All right, we're gonna have a seat in the chair. Make sure we've got our blocks out. But first of all, sitting forward in our chair. Let's do a low back stretch, stretching forward again. Exhale, bring it up. Extend out our right leg, our right heel is pressed out. 
Reach out with the left arm. So that's your left arm. Okay, so when I'm doing it, I'm using my left arm, but when I see you, the camera has turned it around. Okay, good to know. All right, bring it back. Bring the foot back, bend those toes. The Zoom is different than Facebook. So are you seeing me with my, it looks like my right arm is out? Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm so glad it's just us so I can communicate and find out what we're doing. Okay. All right. Press on the inside of the foot. And then on the outside of the foot, sitting up tall and straight, pressing on the inside of our thigh with our hand, gentle pressure against the thigh. And release. Again, press against the thigh. And release, bring that foot back and extend out the left. <laughs> I'll have to get this all figured out. I'm going to keep doing what I normally do, though. You just call out your movements and I'll do it. All right. So Zoom is like teaching to a live group. I have to reverse everything in my head. All right. And bring it back. Bend the toes. Bring that foot back under the chair. Then press on the inside of the foot. And on the outside of the foot, bringing that foot in and press the hand against your thigh. Gentle pressure against the thigh. And release. Again, press against the thigh with the hand there and release. Let's go ahead and use that foot, that leg, and bring it over so we can stretch our IT band, sitting up tall and strong. And while we're dealing with this leg, let's turn to the right. We're bending and we're stretching the left quad. And if you can, grab that foot. Stretch. And release. Bring that foot down. Reach back. Stretching the psoas. and reach up. That leg is extended if you can. Reach up with both arms, stretching tall out of the spine, out of the hips, and reach forward. Row it back, and reach, and row it back. All right, turn back around. Let's face front again, and reach over with this other leg. Work it more toward midline, stretching that IT band. And release. Let's turn to the side so we can now stretch that quadricep. Grab that foot if you want. And release that leg, let it come back and gently stretch the psoas. Arching back. Now straightening back up, extending that leg a little bit. Our both arms are up, tall spine. And reach forward. 
Roll it back. And reach. And roll it back. All right, so while we're on the side, we've got our blocks. We're gonna make our way down to the floor with this right knee or whatever knee you're doing. <laughs> you can use the blocks if you need to. If not, that's fine too. The back foot is flat. Now let's flex the back foot and lift that right leg up off the floor. Hips are level. And bring that knee back down. Straighten back up. Working on balance a little bit, just lunging forward. The chair's there if you need it. We're coming up and bring up both arms up. And bring it back down. Circle the arms back. Range of motion for the shoulders and reach forward. And bring it back. Extend out now your left heel, stretching that hamstring. If you need to, now come up on the chair, grab the blocks, because we're going to the other side. Make it our way, or you can just stay on the floor, whatever works. Hips are level. That back leg, the, the uh, foot is flat. Lunging forward. Now flex the feet, flex that back foot and lift that foot up off the floor, that leg up off the floor. Trying to keep the hips level, tighten the core. Bring that knee back down. Working on balance a little bit here. The chair's there if you need it. We're gonna reach forward. And now come back, bring the arms over and stretch forward. And bring it back and extend out that right leg. Heels pressed out, stretching the hamstrings on that side. Wonderful, all right, so let's move the chair out of the way. Are you okay on your knees, Laura? Yeah, I've got... <laughs> Four mats. Four mats, okay. <laughs> and I can get a pillow if they bother me. Okay. So that's the hard part is being on the knees. Yeah, I know it is for Diane as well. Okay. But do the blankets help? The blankets and the mats and all help? Yeah. Okay. Good deal. All right, so we are, we're in tabletop. You can use the blocks or not. I don't have blocks. And just gently rock back and forth. So we're changing the spinal load now. We're no longer sitting where that's the most spinal load. Now we're on all fours. Let's take a breath forward into Firebird. Exhale, coming back. Making our way toward child's pose, stretching the quadriceps here. Take another breath in toward Firebird. And exhale back into child's pose. If you're able to go ahead and go down into child's pose. 
can use a block for your head to rest on if you need to. Allowing the body to stretch, relax. And relax with each breath. Let's take the left hand and bring it over to the right hand to the right side of the mat. Stretching that left side. And breathe. Make your way with your left hand to the left side of the mat, bringing the right hand over to meet it on that left side. And breathe. And separate the hands again, coming back up into tabletop. Shifting our weight over to our left, we're going to bring the right leg up. Fire hydrant, working on strengthening those hip flexors. Bring it up and up. That's four, five, six, seven, and eight, bring that right knee in up toward the chest and extend it straight back. Again, bring that right knee up toward the chest and extend it straight back. If you're able to extend out, you got your right leg extended and extend out the left arm. A little bit harder without having the chair to hold on to and bring that leg back down back into all fours rock it out shift the weight to the right hand bringing up the left knee up into fire hydrant that's eight seven six five Four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg up toward the chest and extend. Careful extension. Bend the knee in and extend. One more. Bend the knee and extend. Shifting the weight a little bit so that you can extend out the right arm and the left leg. Breathe. And bring them both back down to the mat. Rock it out side to side. And forward and back. Let's make our way to our left side. So we can do clamshell. I've got to move you down. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go down on the floor with you. Okay. And bring up clamshell. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. And while we're there, let's just go ahead and turn around and do it on the other side. I'm turning my back to you. Well, my back will be to you. <laughs> okay, good deal. All right, so lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, make our way to our back. Get a blanket underneath your neck if you need it, whatever works for you, allowing our hips to settle, settle in. 
to the mat or mats. If you want to straighten your legs, you can, or you can keep them bent depending on your back, but we're gonna bring the right arm up, reaching up, all the way reaching up above the head, allowing gravity to let that shoulder rest into the mat and bring that right arm back down. Do it again, same arm, take your breath in as you're reaching up and then exhale as you're bringing that arm back down to the side. Switch, bring the left arm up. Let it rest there above your head, allowing the shoulder to rest into the mat. And exhale, release, bring it down to the side. And again, bring it up. And then exhale, bring it down. As that arm is coming down, the right arm is coming up. Slow control movements and touch. You're gonna do the same thing, the other arms coming up while the right arm's coming down. One more time. Alternating the arms. This time the left arm stays down as the right arm comes back down to the side. The hands are on the floor. And we're just gonna tilt the pelvis up. The pelvis is staying on the floor as well. But we're just bringing the belly button to the spine, pressing that low back further into the mat, and then release. Again, tilting the pelvis up, belly button to the spine, Exhale, release. This time, grab your block and put it between your thighs. Squeeze the block, tilt the pelvis. Strengthening the inner thighs as well as the core. And release. And you're not doing this so much that it's causing any pain there. You're just tightening, tilting, squeezing the thighs again. Don't forget to breathe and release. This time, squeeze the thighs and lift the pelvis up off the floor. And bring it back down slow. Again, squeeze the block, lift the pelvis up, and it does not have to be a big lift. Bring it back down, feel the vertebrae going down onto the mat, pelvis is back onto the mat. One more, squeeze the inner thighs, lifting the pelvis up. Breathe and bring it back down. And release. Take that block away. Bring both thighs in. Bring the knees in towards your chest. And gently rock side to side. Flattening out that pelvis onto the floor. Let's extend out our left leg. We still have the right knee bent. Pointing the toes of that left leg. And with the right leg, you're circling the ankle. And circle the other direction. 
Let's take that right leg over across the body. If you need your block or that knee to rest on, you can do that. But bringing that right leg over, your left hand is on the right knee and you're putting gentle pressure of your right knee up into your left hand, then relax, allowing the knee to come closer to the block or to the floor, depending on how flexible you are. Again, press that knee up into the hand and relax. And don't hold your breath. Press up into the hand and release. Good, roll back onto your back. You've got that right leg still in your hand. We're just gonna take that right leg, circle it around in that hip socket. Get the synovial fluid juices going in there. All right, cross that leg over, the left leg. That might be as far as you can go. But if you can, with that right knee, press that right knee toward the floor without using your hand. You're engaging those muscles. And then release it. And again, Pressing that right knee down toward the floor, toward that left foot area, and release it. If you can, reach through and grab the left thigh, bringing it up. If it doesn't want to go, don't force it. Stretching the piriformis muscle. And release. While we've got it there, if you've got your strap close by, put your strap on that right foot or whatever foot you did that's crossed and extend that right leg. Point the toes, take your breath in. Exhale, flex the foot. Breathe in, point the toes. And exhale, flex the foot. Bring that right leg out to the side, as far as is comfortable for you. Bring it back up. And then straighten out that left leg. Can you bring that right leg across the body? and bring it back up. Bend that left knee, bring the right knee in and take that strap off. And let's do all that on the other side. So we're gonna straighten out that right leg, bend that left knee toward the chest, pointing the right toes and circling the left ankle. And change directions of the circle of the ankle. And then take that leg, we're gonna bring it over to the side. You can use the block if you need it. But you're gonna have your right hand on the left leg, gently pressing up into that hand and then allowing it to relax. So take your breath in, press up, and then exhale, release, allowing that leg to come a little further over if it wants to go. One more time, take your breath in, pressing up, exhale, and release. And roll back onto your back. And we're going to circle, circle that leg. 
Now I gotta remember everything I did on that one side, Laura. <laughs> and circle. All right, cross that leg over. And with that left knee, bring it down toward the right foot. You're not pressing against that leg, you're just engaging the muscle, pressing it down. And release. Again, press toward that right foot. And release. That might be all that you can do with that, but if you're able to, you're gonna reach through and grab that right thigh, stretching the piriformis on that side. Definitely don't force anything. All right, while we've got that down, bring that right foot back down, grab your strap, put it around the ball of the foot on that side. Point the toes, take your breath in. Exhale, flex the foot. Breathe in, point the toes. Exhale, flex the foot. One more, point the toes. Exhale, flex the foot and bring that left leg out to the side. And then bring it up. Extend out that right leg so you can cross the body. Crossing that side over. And bring that leg back up and bend the knee, bring it down. You're gonna take that strap on off. Go ahead and bring both knees back in towards your chest. Stretch, give it a little hug. You can separate the feet. Grab on the inside of the feet first if you need to, or if they need to stay that way. Going into happy baby, if you can, grab on the outside of the foot. Allowing the knees to come down. And release. Bringing the feet back down toward the mat. So let's do a core strengthening. Put your feet up, I mean, put your hands up underneath your buttocks if you need to. Bringing the knees up. Tighten the belly button to the spine and slowly lower your feet down toward the mat. I've got my hands up underneath my hips, up under my buttocks, so that I can support my low back. And again, bring the knees, the feet down toward the mat, tightening the core, bring them back up. If that causes problems with your low back, you may only do one foot at a time. One more, bring it up. And last one, go down, exhale. And bring it back in. Hug those knees. And then let's extend both legs, pointing the toes reaching up with our arms, stretching, elongating the spine. Take your breath in. And exhale, release. Work your way to one side so you can make your way up. And time flies.
It's already that time. <laughs> Relax the shoulders and the neck. And down for the chest, up to the other side, and back down. And bring the hands to heart center. Let's take a breath in for a healthy mind, body, and spirit, exhaling any disease or sickness. Hoping for a happy, healthy week, right? So namaste, ma'am. Thank namaste. you for being my, my guinea pig today. <laughs> Thank you for doing this with me. <laughs> Let me